It's season three, and as you can see, so much has changed. There's a slightly different lighting setup. Yep. Um, Beers are stacked in other fashions. And... and we have glasses. We're going to decant this season because we've realised we may be wrong. Uh, so we had this on our first, on our first Tasting Notes podcast, we yes. tried this. So the Tasting Notes podcast should either be out or... Or coming out, I don't know. Coming out, we don't really know, <laughs> but the, the, the idea of the Tasting Notes podcast is usually, usually, really just to talk shit. Yeah. Um, before we do these YouTube videos, we sit down with the beer, we taste them, we look at uh, the brewery's notes. We yep. kind of go through a couple of other uh, publications or reviews from other people. Yep. We just kind of really we get, get to know it. So when we come into here, yep. it seems like we know what we're talking about. Um, a little bit. But the tasting works. notes is really where we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. um, we're Googling mid, mid chat and things like that and just go off a random and, tangents. Uh, yeah, the whole idea is really to digress and keep digressing. Yep. And eventually, 360 back to the beer. Yep. And yeah, if that's not the best description of what's <laughs> it's about the podcast, then it, it is. It is. Yeah. It's, so that's something else we're doing now. But for the moment, uh, we are screwing and hop. This is the uh, yeah our episode one. We have episode one. Of we season. have two birds brewing their passion, passion victim. It's also so pale or tropical pale. Yep. But it's also got passion fruit puree in it as yeah. part of the brewing process. Yes, that's pretty cool. Which was awesome. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we, let's give it a go. We picked it up because the name Passion Victim sounds <laughs> sounds wicked. Yeah. Obviously, big tropical fans. Oh yeah. Uh, and then if something's gonna say it's got passion fruit in it, oh, it's oh, a boy. It's a boy. That's bubbly. That's hella heady right there. Yeah. You can just you can smell, smell yeah. the passion fruit in it. Yeah, this has not been a good pour. I got it all in my book. <laughs> oh, mate, I didn't spill a drop. Um, it says hazy. Would you? I mean, we've got a pretty good light in front of us. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, We've got light I'd, coming from two directions I'd, for us. So I'd, say it's it's really... bit, I'd say it's a bit hazy. Look, I can see through it, and I've seen photos of some hazy beers mm. online, and yeah. it, it is just a thick orange juice. Lightly, lightly hazy. There we go, cut to that shot. <laughs> First pour. Wow. Wow, would you look at that? So, Nailed uh, it. Yep. So, that, yeah, that pours with the other oh, head. It smell. It smells beautiful. It really. We said we were never going to talk about smells either, but damn. Yep. That's it. That's a good bit. When we had that a first sip, we really did we did pop it down and then um. No. We no. Chat about it. We had to have a second one. I it did write down that it's more slash sessionable, and it is. I'm actually getting more of a bitter flavour out of it today than I did yeah. the other day. Yeah. So, um. Very good as well. Yeah, I'm really justice. enjoying it. No, no, I'm looking at that. Yeah, um, it's a really good contrast slash. It's well balanced, but good contrast on the fruity and bitter notes. Hmm. Uh, obviously, you're getting all that passion fruit. It's gonna happen when you add passion fruit puree. Passion fruit puree. Yeah. Um, into a beer. It's pretty stable in a lot of a lot of pails as well. The passion fruit, so. It's nothing that you haven't tasted before. Um, the head doesn't last very long. But it's also really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you, yeah, you don't have to search for passion fruit flavor. I, when I first tried this on the podcast, I did say I was underwhelmed with the fruit flavor to start. I'm not getting that, to, getting that today. We also did discuss that I might have had the one that warmed up a little bit and then cooled down again, so that doesn't help a bit. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, the main thing is... Obviously, a lot of tropicals you get a passion fruit flavor out of. This is just 
another level of passion fruit flavor. Yeah. But it's nice because it's not the sweet aspect of passion fruit that's popping mm. through. For me, it's more the tart flavor that comes in. Which, yeah, and that's where which they, is good. That's what because if it was a sweet it. one, it would probably not be as nice. You just kind of yeah. yeah. You don't really you want the idea of sweet in a beer. Yeah, not actual sweetness, except if you're having that fig jam, which I found sweet. Mm. Yeah, good. That's uh, that's a good analogy. So something else we're doing this season, we're uh, we're doing uh, rankings. So we're doing our regular rankings up on the board over here. Um, but we are also just developing it. Developing, yeah. So we're going to talk about sessionability, uh, bitterness, overall flavour, and the aftertaste. Um, and then just give it an overall uh, ranking, which is basically the average of what we've had, of what we've given the other things. So sessionability, I put this down as a, uh, as a 4 out of 5, because I find it very sessionable. It's very easy to drink. Um, there's really nothing offensive I don't, it's not even in, in the beer. It like wouldn't even be biased to a hot or a cold day either. There's yeah. enough bitterness in it to be a nice drink to go to on a cold day. Yeah. But then obviously all those tropical flavours are just kind of the flavours you want. Right. They're so light. Like, hmm. That's what you want on a hot I day because they're refreshing. I feel like they're maybe marketing it towards summer. It could be. Because sun, beach. Yeah. Flowers. Flowers. Yeah. Spring. So, definitely some of it. Yes. Um, you gave it 4 out of 5 for session Yeah, uh, 4 out of 5 session ability for me. Um, I initially ranked it a 3 out of 5 on bitterness. Yeah. But now I'm thinking it could even be like a f You got it way up. 4? He's got a real I'm getting, yeah. I don't know. It just, it's tasting a lot more bitter than what I recall it doing. Now I'm going to leave it as a 3 on bitterness because I've I've tried way more bitter things, really. See, I, I had it as a one initially. I was going to change it to a two. I might even do that. Let's say two. Um, that's. I think that's because it doesn't stick around. And that comes to the aftertaste, um, which I actually ranked in, and uh, and I, maybe I ranked that, and we discussed didn't discuss about ranking it. I just put it down. I don't know. Or maybe I just forgot about it. Both are likely. Um, um, the aftertaste is there, both in the bitterness and mm -hmm. the passion fruit. Yeah, the passion fruit six round, and that's. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go with the fact that it's got passion fruit. Is it, is it, is it passion fruit I don't know. Did I mention that before? Oh, no, you've said passion fruit about twenty times. That's this video already. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> I should make a counter for it. Yeah, well, going off down the bottom there. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't find the bitterness that it's more obvious today definitely than it was. Um, that was the first time we tried this, uh, but I still don't find it that intense. No, but it's like you said, we've had not affecting the session ability of the beer no, definitely at not. all. If anything, it helps it. Um, that's okay. okay. That's alright. We just pause. I just cut it out. Okay. The glory of editing. Mm -hmm. I was saying. Anyway, right. um, the overall flavor, flavor, I gave it a four because it's pretty wicked. It's full on the whole way through, and like I said before, there's nothing harsh about it. There's nothing offensive in it. It's just a good beer. It is really good beer. It's really I good. gave it a 4 out of 5 as well. Oh. It's just good. You, you met with the contrast of bitter and almost sweet. Yeah, I think it's balanced pretty well. And it's just a well-balanced beer. Overall, I gave it a 4 out of 5 because chances are yes. I'm going to revisit this. Yeah, definitely. The only downside of this, and it's yeah. not really a downside, it is a 330ml can. It's a downside. Because um, it's downside. It's not massive. Oh. Yeah. Down, 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 down. That's and if it. I can't continue that anymore... Not the cold song. No, it's no, no, no. down, down, deeper and down. It's this status quo song that I took that off. That's not the name of the song. But well, I was going for the Blink reference. Are we? Oof. Yeah. Yeah, look, we were raised on different music. We certainly Slash were. Slash our teenage years were different. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we'll divulge into that in a podcast. <laughs> yeah, the podcast it yeah. seems like a good, good thing to do. Yeah. Uh... Get back to it. I'm not going to say it's last. We're going to say it's fourth. There's only three. Four. There were only three other. Um, there, was, up there, there are only three others. And so. if you've been following us from season one, yeah. you'd have known when season two happened, we got rid of all but the top three. Yeah. So basically, it's season three. It's only our top three remaining. Is there we should probably figure out some kind of ruling. 
about those top three because <laughs> so currently top my top three are beers that yeah um, we won't get beat. Um, same. Okay, I'm not sure we'll get beat. So does a top three only last a certain amount of time? I don't know. Come see us. Come see us season four. We'll find out. Or does uh, it just go to the side of being like, yep, that's just, uh, just the that's what was the yeah. best out of all those beers in the season. Mm-hmm. And we leave it at that and then mm-hmm. we start the board fresh again. That's probably Who knows? Good. That's, we'll figure it out. Another that's time. a really good idea. Look, it's fourth. Uh, it's, it, it's just tough competition out there. Mm. It's great beer. If this was, say this was season two, it would have ranked fairly high. There are a lot, a lot of things it would have beaten. Um, for me, so it's a great beer. Definitely over the arc of the entire, all the beers we've tried, this is definitely up there. Yeah. It probably, yeah. it might have even made it into the top five of all the beers we've tried. It's one of the, definitely, what, well, it's definitely at least the second best tropical we've had. Hmm. I think we've only had two tropicals. <laughs> two, or two explicit tropicals. Yeah. Or. Oh. Look, it's right up there. It's it's, good. it's a good beer. I would try it. I'll try it again. You should try it for the first time slash again. Definitely should. Um, if you're um, in, if we have any viewers that are in Victoria, go to their uh, go to the Nest. It's on uh, one thirty six Hall Street, Sportswood, Victoria. Actually, one thing I will add that we didn't even go into. Oh, uh, it is a five percent beer. Yeah. So even though it is over three hundred and thirty mils, mm. still one point. It's still a heavy. So it's one point three standards yeah. in a three thirty mil can. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember what the uh, the IBU was. Look, it doesn't say uh, on the can. So it doesn't can't. say it on the can. And I didn't run it you down. Know, you know how uh, you well, were wanting to get a bit better at figuring out IBUs. Mm. What's your guess on the IBU? Oh, don't do that to me. I'm gonna go out there and say it's. 25. You know that... <laughs> yeah, now this is just, you know I'm going to say 25 is going to go, this is copying him. I had 25 in my head. But you know what, I'm going to go 23 because it's my favourite number. This is being really fast right now. This is a long drum roll, this one. Oh, 24 IBU. Oh, smack in the middle. There you go. That was either a fluke on my behalf <laughs> or I'm kind of getting... Yeah, maybe we are. Um, I mean, like, it's been six months of doing this. Of, of course we're going to yeah. eventually get good at uh, beer notes. One of these days. Anyway, uh, we've been screwing off. We sure have. This has been The Passion Victim, and it's a beer we'd recommend. I've said that three times. Corey said passion X amount of times. This amount of times. And now I'm not going to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. Sure will. Cheers. Cheers.